What's cracking, everybody? Welcome to another break night. Now, before we begin, if you are watching from YouTube, please do us a big favor and hit that thumbs up for us. Also, please vote in the poll at the top of the video to rate this break. And, of course, comment down below. Let us know what you thought the hit of the break was. Now, let's get to it. Let's crack that wax. Welcome to a new week, everybody. What's cracking? I am your break host and resident wax cracker. My name is Christopher. Welcome to yet another break night. It is Monday, April 6th, 2020, and we've got a few breaks to do, including our March free box break. And we are live selling breaks. If you go to crackandwax.com slash shop, we do have two breaks still available for tonight. They are both name your price breaks. They are both 2011 Bowman Platinum single box pogos. Uh, Pogo number one has four spots left. Pogo number two has two spots left. So if you're here right now, head on over to crackandwax.com slash shop. Grab those final spots if they go before we're done tonight. Yes, indeed, we will break them tonight. I know I cut off it, cut it off at six, but I figure they're still available if they fill the night. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. Folks, what's going on? Everyone that's watching from YouTube, Periscope, Twitch, Breakers TV, say hello. How are you doing, everybody? Uh, we've got Bobby Weaver. We've got John, Kerry, Bobby P. Uh, we've got David, Trevor. That's the Tiger King. We've got a lot of people here. If you're watching us from YouTube, please do us a big favor real quick. Stop what you're doing. Hit that thumbs up for us. We live on thumbs ups. You'd think we would live on money, but we don't. It's the thumbs up that we live on. So... Uh, so the first thing that we're going to do, uh, to try to make this night go a little bit more smoothly, since we do have, um, pogos to do tonight, we're, we're going to do a little bit of, oh, what, Matthew Sterling, what's going on? How you doing? Good to see you. Um, we're going to do a little bit of, uh, kind of like a pre-break show type of thing to start off first, and then we're going to head into our free box break for March of 2020. Um, I won't tell you about that until we do our quick randomizations for our pogo breaks first. The uh, only breaks that we for sure are doing are the two break of the days. They're both the 2009 Upper Deck Signature Stars single box pogos. We have two of them we're doing tonight. So we're going to quick randomize those spots for those folks who are in those two breaks. And as always, what we end up doing is we first shake up the dice to see how many times we're going to randomize each separate break. So let's see. Now let's take one of these out. We'll just do two. All right. So for break of the day number one, we're going to be randomizing our spots a total of eight times. And folks, if you are watching live, if you have any questions about how we run things here, especially if you're new to Crack and Wax or if you've never been in one of our breaks or if you've never seen us uh, do our thing before, feel free to ask questions. Uh, there are plenty of folks who are in the chat room watching live right now who would be happy to answer your question if I'm not, uh, if I don't see your question, uh, I'm going to turn the feed chat room down now just so we can all see what I'm doing as far as randomizing spots go. So we're going to go into our break of the day number one. These are the teams that were not picked. They will be the teams that are going to be randomly assigned to the teams that were picked. So Pogo means pick one, get one. So when you buy a spot in a Pogo break, you pick your first team, so pick one team. And then when we run the break, you get one team. I do leave all 30 teams available when I start the break. And then after 15 teams are picked, the 15 teams that were not picked are what sits in the random pool. And that's exactly what this is. So we've now randomized our 15 teams eight times. And we're going to throw that into our team assignments. Then I'm going to take the eight, or I'm sorry, the 15 wax crackers who are in this break, and we're going to do the exact same thing. And that will be for break of the day number one. Then we'll do the same thing for break of the day number two. And we'll continue to do this for any breaks that do fill throughout the night. So if we do, if the uh, breaks that are still available on the website happen to fill while we're doing this, we'll just keep going. I will keep breaking as long as I have to. Okay. Well, we got another order in, so we'll check that out in just a second. But team assignments four 
Break of the day number one, that's our 2009 Upper Deck Signature Stars single box pogo number one is as follows. Bearded G, you've got the Giants and Rangers. Dame W with the Phillies and Blue Jays. Dan B with the Twins and Indians. Dang it, Bobby, that's Bobby W. You've got the Yankees and Pirates. Deb P with the Dodgers, Mariners, Red Sox, Reds, Rockies, White Sox, Orioles, and Royals. John B, you've got the Brewers and Astros. Kerry B with the Cardinals and Cubs. Kyle P, you've got the Marlins and Mets. Larry M with the Braves and Padres. Lock in, you've got the Rays and Angels. Tiger King with the Tigers and D-backs. And Waxtopia with the Nationals and A's. And yes, of course, tonight we are breaking in honor of the late, great Al Kaline tonight. So uh, as a Twins fan, I think it's uh, the respectful thing to do to honor a great player like Al Kaline, who, uh, division rival and... Uh, Kind of a long, uh, short distance uh, team rival. Although the Tigers right now aren't uh, <laughs> that much of a threat to the Twins. All right, so that was number one. So we're going to do the exact same thing for number two. And this is how many times we are going to be randomizing number two. 11 times. 6 and 5 is 11. So let's go to random.org. Let's go to break number 2. These are the 15 teams that were not picked for number 2. Randomizing that 11 times. And 11. And it looks like we have two spots left in each of the two breaks that are still available. Crackamax.com slash shop. If they fill tonight, we will break them tonight. I have a good feeling they'll fill. Okay, and here are the 15 wax crackers in break of the day number two. That's our other 2009 upper deck signature series of course we do expect that there will likely be some expired redemptions we will not count them as hits for our instant gratification that we do at the end of each break and there is a possibility that there will be teams or that there will be players without assigned teams so what i do as i'm sur uh, sorting i research if any of those players ended up drafted to an mlb team and then they'll go there or if they didn't get assigned to a major league team at all in their lifetimes, then I'll just randomly assign it to a hitless spot. And there goes another spot. All right, so random uh, team assignments for the 2009 Upper Deck Signature Star Single Box Pogo number two is as follows. Battle Hawk, you've got the Blue Jays, D-backs, Dodgers, Rays, Red Sox, Rockies, A's, Marlins, Reds, Brewers, Dame W, the Nationals and Phillies, and Mets and White Sox. Dang it, Bobby. That's Bobby W. with the Yankees and Padres. Kerry B. with the Cardinals and Giants. Kevin R. with the Tigers and Pirates. Larry M. with the Braves and Cubs. Ron R. with the rest. You've got the Angels, Astros, Mariners, Orioles, Rangers, Indians, Twins, and Royals. And, of course, we will give you a couple minutes to make trades on those breaks right at the top of those breaks. So when we start those breaks, you'll get a couple minutes to make trade if you want. And it looks like Pogo number two is now sold out. So I'm going to quick shut that off before we move ahead. What's up, Larry M? Mika's here. All right, screen coming down. Chat coming back up. So if you just want to give me one moment, I'm going to shut down that break just so we don't oversell it. That's one of the lovely uh, disadvantages to <laughs> running a WooCommerce site. Um is that I have to manually shut these off if I don't uh, do a, a random team or, you know, something crazy like that. So Pogo number two is the one that filled up. So let me shut that down and then we will start our two, or I'm sorry, our March 2020 free box break. And I'll describe that to you in just a second. And thank you so much for filling that up. We will randomize teams um, after we do our break of the days because I gotta, I gotta catch up on the backside. See who bought what. 
But Pogo number two is now shut down. So Pogo number one should still be on the site and available with two spots left. Crackamax.com slash shop. If you want to pick those spots up, we will break that tonight. But for now, but for now, let's do... Uh, the free break's happening right now. Yep. <laughs> Let's do the free box break right now. So we haven't had the opportunity to, to do it. Oh, wait a second. Now my little thing just went off. Give me a second. I might have to uh, shut down another break. That's the fun part about uh, selling breaks live. <laughs> and it looks like, yep, they're both, uh, they're both sold out now. So give me another minute and I'm going to shut down the other one. So, all breaks for today are sold out. Fantastic. All right, give me one more minute. I will shut down that break, and then after we're done doing the first three breaks here, I'll catch up on the backside, and then we'll we'll do our 2011 Bowman Platinum Name Your Price breaks afterwards. Fun, fun, fun. And I can't wait for you to see what I've got in uh, in the works for tomorrow. So, of course, as always, 11 a.m. Central, we've got one break of the day and two Name Your Price breaks dropping. And then at 3 p.m. Central, if the first break of the day fills up, we'll give you a second one. All right, should be shut down. Let me double check before I move on, just in case. And then it's time to do our free box break. Yep, all right, perfect. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Nothing like having a filled break. All right. So, free box break time. We haven't had the opportunity to do this in a while, um, basically because I changed up how free box breaks work. Since we're breaking way more than we used to, we used to just do like one break every week or two. So what I would do back then, is every hitless spot would get an entry into a free box break, which means that most people still weren't gonna get into the free box break. There were people that went hitless for the whole year and never once got into a free box break. So I changed that. So now a hitless spot gets entered to instant gratification. So at the end of each break, each single break, um, one hitless spot still ends up with an additional thing. So it could be, uh, a rack pack it could be wax bucks it could be free merchandise you know whatever but in order to get into the free box break now you have to have a cardless spot not a hitless spot but your spot has to go without any cards at all and in march it happened we had spots that went cardless so people are in a free box break tonight from march so congratulations to you folks now since we, in March, didn't do nearly as many breaks as we are doing in April, there aren't going to be a ton of spots for March. So this is going to be a little bit on the lighter side of free box breaks. The one that we do for April should be a lot better, I hope. I hope. But we're giving away two spots right now. I'm going to give the first spot the entire American League in the box that we open. The second spot is going to get the entire National League. All out of one box. And I got the free box break entry tickets right now. So if you ever receive a drink ticket, that means you're invited to the free box break. All right. Are we ready? Okay. American League is going to David L. You went cardless in an inception break. You've got the American League. Congratulations, David L. Alright, second one. National League. Deb P. Congratulations, Deb P. You've got the entire National League out of our free box break. The other fun thing that I like to do is I like to, to hold back what the box is going to be. Now, like I said, this is going to be on the lighter side. In the past, we've had just absolutely nuts, insane free box breaks. This one's still going to be good. 
It's not going to be insane, but it's still going to be good. There are two hits in the box, so hopefully there will be one American League hit and one uh, National League hit. And I don't have my dang knife down here, so I'm just going to have to show off the box and then rip it right open. You ready? We got one box of 2019 Diamond Kings Baseball for our free box break. Eight cards per pack, 12 packs per box, two autographs or memorabilia cards per box on average. This is a good set. I really like the 2019 Diamond Kings. And each person is going to get approximately, and I forgot my garbage bag too. Gosh darn it. <laughs> Well, I'm going to have to run upstairs real quick after I'm done with this to grab my knife in a garbage bag. But uh, here we are. Free box break time. Good luck to the two of you. And congratulations. And thank you so much for being in our breaks. This is your reward for getting uh, giving us money and not getting anything in return, basically. All right. First pack. Now, I'm keeping all the dummy cards. You can't have them. They're mine. All right. Oh, we got a nice uh, Sam Rice, but uh, Roger Clemens. I'm really just going to focus on the more interesting cards and the hits, if that's okay with you. Walter Alston, Juan Soto. So we're not going to go crazy and, you know, announce each and every single card. I know you folks have other breaks you want to watch and I want to be respectful of that and let me tighten up again I don't know what this is why this keeps happening I I do my focus before we go live and then somehow some way there we go no matter what I do that looks better here we go Ooh, crowning moment Miguel Tejada very nice insert flashback of Wade Boggs like it very nice Dummy. Looks like if just about everything's upside down. Babe Ruth. Flashbacks Albert Pujols. Justice Sheffield rookie. And oh, another dummy. K-Line. Rest in peace, my friend. Albert Pujols. That must be a short print. Walker Bueller, Gallery of Stars. Thomas Wagner. There's another Walker Bueller back there. Ah, right, there we go. There's our first hit. We got a nice portraits of Yachty Molina. Christy Matthewson, Albies, Otuve, Allard rookie card, Maggio. And behind Max Scherzer, first of two hits. Holy cow, Reese Hoskins. <laughs> Reese Hoskins autograph going to Deb P. That works. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Congrats, Dead P. A free Reese Hoskins autograph for you. Just for being awesome. And going cardless in a break. That works. I like it. And do we have another hit already? No, we don't. Okay. No one Arnado. Luis Urias, rookie card. Now, we pulled, in a free box break, uh, a Tier 1 RPA 1 of 1 of Reese Hoskins last year. There's another hit. So, that's our second hit. So, I'm just going to pull that. So, excellent luck for us that we got two autos, it seems, out of this box. Nothing against memorabilia cards, but, you know, autographs are just more exciting sometimes. Or, wait, nope, Mookie Betts. I was going to say, that's not... An auto. It's a short print. Mookie Betts. Heirs to the Throne. Vlad Jr. Cool. 
Jeff McNeil. Oh, wait a minute. Now this is a hit. So do we have three hits? Or was that not a hit? Ha, that was not a hit. Well, that one for sure is a hit. So never mind, not two autographs. <laughs> one autograph on one memorabilia card. Never mind. That happens to me all the time, doesn't it? Matt Chapman, short print. See, when they, they throw those cards in there backwards, and I get all excited. I'm sure you are, Deb. I'm sure you are. You gotta go. You gotta try harder at going cardless in a break, Debbie. <laughs> Jeff McNeil. That is framed, purple framed rookie card of the real deal. Jeff McNeil, not numbered. Cock, or Eddie Collins, sorry. Wow, Bantendi. Purple frame JT Ryle Muto. I gotta get back in the frame here. That's what happens when I don't watch the screen. Mark McGuire flashback. Final pack, and then we will show off that last hit. Nothing against Debbie, but I, I hope that it's an American League hit for, for David. Jackie Robinson. Chris Bryant, purple framed. The 300 born spawn. All right. Well, let's see what the final hit of the free box break is. Acuna. Satchel Page. All right, behind Jonathan Loisiga. Final card, final hit. Well, it's a good one. It's not American League, though. It's a San Diego Padres, Tony Gwynn, quad relic, dual bat, dual jersey. That's pretty nice. Diamond Deco. Well, congrats, Dead P. Both hits going to Dead P. Sorry, David, but uh, you are going to get a whole nice stack of cards nonetheless. But congratulations to you both, Deb P and David L. Thank you so much for supporting us and getting into our breaks. And uh, if you want to give us a moment, we are going to reset, and then we will start with our first break of the day. All right, we'll see you in just a couple minutes, folks.
All right, welcome back, everybody. Thanks for hanging in there. And deodorant testing. What are we talking about here, Bobby? <laughs> I don't know if you're talking to me or somebody else, but, uh, anyhow. All right, I'm going to quick make the team board for break of the day number one, and then we will allow a few minutes for trades, should you, should you want to make some trades. All right, here comes the team board. There we go. Now, if you are in the 2009 Upper Deck Signature Stars, Pogo number one, that's break of the day number one, you can make some trades right now. So take a look at the bottom right-hand corner of the video. It says it is 7.28 p.m. Once the clock hits 7.31 p.m., trades will no longer be available. So if you are in this break and want to make some trades, now's your chance. Trade window is now open. I still want to know what Bobby's talking about with <laughs> the deodorant testing. What on earth is happening? <laughs> all right, well, while you all are figuring out trades, I'm gonna work on my back end stuff here, try to get caught up with the other breaks that sold out. I also want to uh, shout out a huge congratulations to Buck City Breaks opening their brick and mortar shop. I knew that was kind of uh, in the works sort of for a while. And uh, I don't know all the details, but I saw a picture tweeted out earlier today and that's huge. So congratulations to those folks. Buck City Breaks, that is pretty awesome. Oh, <laughs> wrong answer for LQ's job. Got you, got you. So LQ, Bobby Patrick, who gave the wrong answer that you were uh, deodorant testing. Yeah, he wants to know how it's going with deodorant testing. It's disgusting. It's disgusting, yes. Yeah. I still smell. It's true things. Uh, true words. I open this door and I'm like, what is It's the smell of a breaker. Oh, oh gosh, bottle that. Yes. It is better than Dracar Noir. Yeah, yeah. Well, thanks, LQ. <laughs> How's everybody going? How's everybody doing? I'm asking you. I moved it up there so he could, so I could remind him that he's eating. <laughs> I know, don't we? Yeah. All right, see you. I said, see you. I, I, I can't help it if there are redemptions in, in this one. I, you just know there are going to be. You just know there will. Uh, there's nothing I can do about it. All right, it says it's 731. Trades are now closed. Trades are closed. We're gonna run with the team board as is. And I will catch up on my other stuff later on all right so team board coming down chat room will stay up let's do this thing 2009 signature stars this is a this is a classic at uh, crack and wax we've broken this plenty of times before i've even used this uh as uh random packs for for cardless spots i've moved since to uh rack packs which i think people like a little bit more but uh you're gonna have 
four signatures or memorabilia cards in every box featuring upper deck black hard signed cards. As Debbie mentioned, and as I mentioned before, there's a good chance that we're going to have some expired redemptions. But as I said, they will not count as hits. And you'll still get to play. Well, you'll still be up, at least, for instant gratification should you get an expired redemption. And I'll still send it to you because Upper Deck is actually really good about, uh, I think they've got like a lottery. So you, you send your expired redemption. And I think what they do is they use that to randomly pick or, you know, do a lottery for uh, a replacement. Now, not everyone gets a replacement, mind you. But... All right, here we go. This is definitely not the first time we've done Signature Stars. Let's see how stuck they are together, <laughs> Giles. This is what the backs look like. Boy, this is old. This, yeah, this is taking me back. There, first hit right away. Corey Hart, Brewers. Who has the Brewers? That was first pack. Mojo, jeez. John B getting the first hit out of this one. Let's light up the board for John B. Hello. And Corey Hart is a name I haven't heard in a while. In any context. <laughs> really. Right out of the gate. All right, well, congratulations, John B. Lighten up the team board, uh, team board for you right now. There you go. All right. Hanley Ramirez. It is so funny. I, I, you know, opening this stuff, and it's just weird to think that this stuff is 11 years old now. And what do we have? Another? No, we don't. Unless that one's signed. Sean Figgins, Canerco. So, like, Matt Newman here, I'll have to figure out where that goes. And if I can't figure it out, then I'll just randomly award it to somebody. So, if he hadn't gotten drafted by anyone, then that'll just get randomly assigned. There's Roy Halladay, Blue Jays. That's always the fun part about these <laughs> products that have the college and Team USA. Adam Dunn, Berkman, McCann. Is that if they're drafted? Well, that's one thing. You know, then I can at least figure it out. But if they weren't drafted, then, well, someone's going to get a random card of somebody who never played Major League Baseball. Delman Young, when he was with the Twins. Anderson. Top prospects of Brett Anderson. Andrew Jones. Pablo. Tiger King has some fans in here. What's going on? Adam Lind, Swisher, Teixeira, Jason Bebe, Pudge Rodriguez. Holiday, Jay Bruce, Pujols, Miguel Tejada, Curtis Granderson. Rowan, Zumaya, top prospects of Alex Avila, current twin I think now actually, Dustin Pedroia, Brandon Phillips. Although it's been so long since uh, <laughs> there's been any baseball, I can't remember who's on the damn twins anymore. Uh, Saito, there's a blue numbered parallel of Johnny Cueto, 124-170, that's kind of cool. Nice. Roy Oswald, cool. Jared Weaver, nice. I mean, these are some decent names in here, so. It's not like these players are terrible or anything. John Lackey. Yeah, at least that's a name I know. Chris Young. Nick Pepitone. To look him up. Mark Hakis, Brandon Webb. Ken Griffey Jr. Chunky style. Clayton Kershaw. A little bit of uh, younger Clayton Kershaw. Nice. Sizemore. Ryan Braun. Dice Gay. Oh, that is bringing back some memories. Because uh, I had gotten back into collecting in 07, 08. So this is, this is closer to when I was just getting back into it. Kubel. Brian Roberts. 
Team USA have Carson Whitson. Papelbon. Slowey. That's another name I haven't seen in a while. All right, we might have a hit here. Loney, tell me with the Dodgers. Just after his run with the Twins. Signature skills, Yadi Molina. See now, you, you faked me out with that insert. We do have three more hits to go. And we may or may not have one. We do have one, all right. And it is... Tyler Holt, Team USA. So I'll have to look that up and see who gets that in just a moment before we do anything else with instant gratification. Tyler Holt was in the 15 and under USA top prospects at the time. So that'll be fun to figure out. Rowan, little green. Garen Cicchini. Ugla and Joe Maurer. Evan Goria, Ramirez, Duncan, Voilander, King Felix. Two hits to go. Cueto, Bill Hall, Bill Hall, really. Uh, Brett Cecil, rookie. Chavez, PB. Derek Jeter. Blake Forsyth. Tory Hunter with the Angels. Three packs and two hits to go. Come on, big money. Oh, no. Oh, no. Something got chewed up in that pack. Ah, oh, for crying out loud. Well, and that's a hit, too. Yep. And it's, well, at least it's basically not anybody. The uh, 18 and under team, Lats and Montgomery. So, I'm not, I mean, that sucks, but... So basically, only one assigned hit, so most of y'all are going to be in instant gratification tonight. One hit left. Signed, sealed, delivered. Adam Dunn, insert. So we got one pack left, and hopefully there's a hit in there, or else we're short, short of the hit. I think there's a hit. I think. Or not. Or it is. I think it is. All right. Let's pull up the team board because we do we do have a hit. <laughs> Here we go. Behind Randy Johnson, we've got basically nobody. Cody Buckle, 735 of 899. So I can't really assign this to anybody. So basically everybody but John B is in instant gratification. And I'll I'll figure out who these go to or I'll randomly assign them to somebody. 735 of 899. All right, so let me figure out instant gratification. So we know for sure that the Brewers got a hit. And I'm not counting anybody else. So everybody but John gets to play. So Beard G, Dame Debbie, Dan B, Dang It Bobby, Deb P twice. Four times, actually. Gary B, Kyle P, Larry M, Eric Locken, Tiger King, and Waxtopia. You're all going into instant gratification. Okie doke. Got those names right here. Now let's see how many times we're going to randomize. All right, we are randomizing nine times. Go down the team board. Pull up the screen. Yeah, all right. Well, if he was drafted by the Rangers, that's fine. However, I'm still going to let all these folks in 
on instant gratification. I think that's especially because we got that one damaged hit and whatever. I'll just let everybody play. No skin off my back. All right, randomizing nine times. Name at the top of the list after the ninth randomization will win an instant gratification prize because you know what? My breaks, my rules. It is what it is because that's what I want it to be. All right, next randomization. Name at the top of the list will win instant gratification. Good luck. Dang it, Bobby. Bobby Weaver, you've got instant gratification. All right, we're going to spin the wheel for Bobby to see what he wins. Yeah, we'll, we'll probably end up giving them to the Rangers, but I just, you know, whatever. We'll just let everybody in. Instant gratification, no big deal. If he goes to the Rangers, he'll go, he goes to the Rangers. All right, screen coming down, wheel coming up. Let's uh, spin that wheel for Bobby, see what he wins. Good luck, Bobby. Here we go. 100 wax bucks going to Bobby. Congratulations, sir. All right. Well, that does it for break of the day number one. We'll take a couple minutes to reset here, and we will be back with break of the day number two. All right, thanks for hanging back, folks. We are ready to go with break of the day number two, our 2009 Upper Deck Signature Stars Pogo number two. We've already randomly assigned teams, so let's bring up the team board and see how that shook out. There we go. Those are the team assignments for Pogo number two. If you are in this break, now is the time to make trades if you like. If you look at the bottom right-hand corner of the video, it is 7.45 p.m. We will give you until 7.48 to make trades if you like and go and of course while you're doing that i'm going to take a couple seconds to catch up on the other breaks that filled while we were doing this
Battlehawk filling us up today. Dude, thanks, sir. So Battlehawk, Richie H trying to get the Cardinals from Carrie. I don't know if that's going to happen. <laughs> Carrie has a blog devoted to his Cardinals called Cards on Cards. So good luck. Although I see you were able to nab them in Platinum Pogo number one. Congrats. A little under a minute left to make trades. You have multiple tattoos. All right, it is 7.48. We're going to call it. Trade window is now closed. All right, team board coming down, and we are going to run with it. All right, good luck, everybody. Let's crack that wax. So just like the previous break, exact same setup. And uh, we were fortunate enough not to run across any expired redemptions, although we were unfortunate enough to find a damaged hit, and uh, three of the four of them were all... Collegiate. Although one of them happened to have been drafted by a team at the very least. I think uh, it was a, a Rangers draft, but see if we have better luck here. Maybe we can pull one of those Jeters. Good luck, everybody. And uh, if you are watching from YouTube, if you haven't done so already, stop what you're doing. Boom, hit that thumbs up, please. Real fast, real fast. I also want to mention that uh, once we hit 2,000 subscribers, we are going to give away a hobby box. And we are close to 1,600 subscribers right now, so we're getting closer. It'll happen. I mean, Houdini is almost at 10,000, so I feel like I feel like we can do it. All right, so we've got a hit, I think. Don't we? No, we don't. Never mind. Damn it. Did it again. <laughs> uh, Garen Ciccini, we got him in the last box. Oscar Kuzmanoff. Oh, who was the Kuzmanov Super Collector? I think it was one of the... I think it was Marie, I think. Or was it Suze from Cardboard Problem? One of those two. Oh, we've got a hit. All right, so... And it's a jersey. So let's pull up the team board and see... Who gets our first jersey behind Ryan Braun? USA Baseball again. TJ Walls. So we're not going to count that as a hit. It'll still go. I mean, if he ended up getting drafted by somebody else, they'll go to the correct team. If he was not drafted, I'll just randomly assign it to somebody. Derek Cheater. Uh, Matt Newman. So, Richie, what tattoos do you have that uh, have anything to do with the Cardinals? And dare I ask, where are these tattoos? Uh, remember, this is a kid's show, so please keep it clean. I really appreciate that. Chipper Jones. Lincecum. That's LQ's boyfriend. I wasn't supposed to know about that, but I found out. I found out. Go, go. Top prospects. Andrew McCutcheon. Now that is a nice card. Rookie card of McCutcheon. Who's got the Pirates tonight? Kevin R. scoring the McCutcheon rookie card. Nice. That's nice. I'm going to set that off to the side. Cool. So Waltz was A's, huh? All right. I'm still not going to count that. 
I mean, it'll if he was indeed for the A's, we'll give it to the A's spot, but I'm not going to count it as an A's hit tonight. Because I say so. All right, we definitely have a hit for sure. I'm I'm pretty sure we've got ourselves a hit. So there's the team board. Han Ram, Billy Wagner, Roy Halladay, Tim Hudson, and behind Kerry Wood, we've got another USA. Brad Miller. Patch Otto, 16 of 25 for the national team. Guess what? I'm also not counting that as a hit, but that is, uh, that'll go somewhere. And that is uh, a good looking hit. Someone will get it. We're just not going to count that. As far as instant gratification goes, I'm just not going to count it. But that is nice. Nice patch auto. Low numbered, 16 and 25. So congratulations to somebody, eventually. Pretty solid hit. Pretty solid. USA Carson Whitson. Brad Miller is a current current Cardinal, but we'll we'll default to the team closest to 2011 on that one. Still not going to count it as a hit. Blake Forsyth, Ugla, Mauer. Cards sticking together. See, I was wondering if any cards were going to end up sticking together. And this is the first pack that I've noticed cards sticking together. And these are sticking together, too. Wells, Loney, Matt Gamble, Rookie, Andrew Jones, Pablo. Well, I got another hit, and it's another Team USA. All right, so next non-hit, Kevin Gaussman. Well, at least Kevin Gaussman is somebody, but we're not going to count that as a hit tonight. DZ, what's going on, sir? Good to see you. Good to see you. I know we're not really Instagramming too much anymore, so I know that's your normal spot. But good to have you here. So, so far, everyone is still eligible for instant gratification. Here's a nice Joe Maurer trophy winner's insert. Easy. I hope you gave us a thumbs up before you left. <laughs> ah, there we go. So, all four of our hits. Team USA. Asher, I'm not even going to say it. Uh, 29 of 399. So, everybody is eligible in this break for instant gratification. So, we'll distribute those as needed. Well, this makes me not want to break this product again for a while we we had good luck every other time we've broken it this one these two boxes just weren't uh, my favorite oh a fifth a fifth hit well how about that that was not expected all right so we got a bonus hit top prospects met to Sosopo for seattle well seattle ends up getting a hit after all How about that? Well, who just ended up getting a bonus hit? Uh, Mariners going to Ron R. Getting probably the only hit that we're going to count. Believe it or not. So congratulations to Ron R. For grabbing the only hit that uh, I think we're going to end up having that we're going to count as a hit. I mean, they're all hit. We've got five hits, but as far as instant gratification is concerned, 
Uh, for me, that's the only hit I'm gonna count. So congratulations, Ron. There you go. Rookie card auto of Matt Tawayo Sosopo. Nice. All right. Phil pulled a two of one sort of interesting video and I'm all thumbs up for, <laughs> well, I will have to, I will have to look for that. So I'm being told that Asher was Blue Jays in 2010. Okay. All right. Kubel. Sean Coyle. Bonderman. Harang. Asher Blue Jays in 2010, but Ron says... Asher was drafted by the Astros. So, interesting. I'm going to have to figure out who actually gets that then. Aaron Harang, 114 of 170, blue parallel. It's Gordon. Penultimate pack. Signature star, signed, sealed, and delivered. John Smoltz, Cardinals. You don't see that too often. Mark Kakis, Brandon Webb, final pack. BJ Upton, Randy Johnson, Giants, another thing you don't see every day. Uh, rookie card of Sean West, Troy Tulowitzki, and Josh Beckett. Well, there you go. Bonus hit. Matt Tuaya Sosopo, rookie auto. Then we've got an Asher or whatever. Uh, sorry, buddy. Uh, my apologies. I'd rather not butcher your name. So, uh, 29 of 399. Kevin Gaussman, Jersey. 18 and under. Patch auto, Brad Miller. 16 and 25. And national team, TJ Walls. All right, time for instant gratification. I am not going to count those uh, national team hits as hits for this. So let me figure out who actually is going to be an instant gratification in this one. So it was that Mariners. Mariners got a hit. So that means Battle Hog. One, two, three, four, five times. Dame Debbie twice. Dang it, Bobby once, Carrie B once, Kevin R once, Larry M once, one, and Ron R three times. So, Ron R could still end up with instant gratification. And how many times are we gonna randomize for this one? Five times, four and one is five, all right. Then on the screen. Randomizing five times, name at the top of the list at the fifth randomization wins a prize. All right, next roll, here we go, good luck. Going to Dame Debbie. All right, let's spin that wheel for Debbie, see what she gets. Congrats Debbie and good luck, here we go. Two hundred fifty wax bucks. All right, congratulations, Dame Debbie. Ken said he just joined and wants to see the hit. So we pulled a McCutcheon rookie card. Other than that, we got a Matt Twyas Sopo rookie auto. Pull that back. We got an Asher Wajachowski. Wajachowski. Um, Jersey auto. 29 of 399. Kevin Gaussman, Jersey. Brad Miller, Patch Auto, 16 of 25. And TJ Walls, Jersey. All right, that does it for Break of the Day number two. If you want to hang back for just a couple minutes, I'm going to reset. I'm going to catch up on the back end so I can uh, fill up our spots for the next two breaks. And we'll be back to start 
2011 Bowman Platinum Pogo number one in about five to ten minutes. So hang back, chill out. We'll see you in just a little bit. All right. Thanks, folks. See you in a bit.
All right, welcome back, folks. Thanks for hanging in there with us. We are going to do the exact same thing that we did at the top of the break. We're just going to randomly assign spots for both breaks just to get them out of the way, and then we'll just rip right into it. So firstly, we're going to randomize spots for the 2011 Bowman Platinum Pogo number one. And shake up the dice. Here's how many times we're randomizing for box number one, randomizing three times. Take down the chat room, pull up the screen. Here are the unpicked teams for Pogo number one. Drop you into random.org, randomizing three times. There we go. And we'll make trades at the top of each break. We won't do that quite yet, but we'll get there. Do the same thing with our rat, uh, wax crackers. Okay, and drop that into the team assignments. And team assignments for the 2011 Bowman Platinum Single Box Pogo number one is as follows. Battle Hawk, you got the first big chunk with the Cardinals, D-backs, Padres, Rays, Phillies, Rockies, Cubs, and Twins. Blair B with the Angels and Brewers. BRSBB cards, that's Richie S. You've got the Red Sox and Dodgers. Dame Debbie with the Nationals and Blue Jays. David and Ark with the Indians and Yankees. Deb P with the Reds and Royals. Jim K with the Tigers and Rangers. Larry M, Astros and Pirates. Lockin, Orioles and White Sox. Mika with the Giants and Mariners. TJ, Kraken Max rookie. You've got the Marlins and A's. And Yohei with the Braves and Mets. And now we're going to do the exact same thing for break number two. Make sure I'm in the right spot for everything before we start. All right, how many times are we going to randomize break number two? Ten times. Turn the screen back up. And these are the teams that were not picked for break number two. And again, thank you so much, folks, for filling these up tonight. I know I gave a cutoff of 6 p.m. Central, but they ended up filling as we were beginning the, the live feed tonight. So I figured, what the heck, let's just do it. Let's have ourselves a good time tonight. Gonna have a good time tonight. Randomizing 10 times here as well. Okay. Team assignments for 2011 Bowman Platinum Single Box Pogo number two is as follows. Battlehawk. Mariners, Pirates, Royals, Padres, Bobby P with the Cardinals and Rockies. Dame Debbie, Nationals and Cubs, David and Ark, Indians and Brewers. Deb P, you've got a nice chunk in the middle. Rangers, Rays, Red Sox, Reds, Twins, Yankees, White Sox, Mets, A's, D-backs, and Phillies and Blue Jays. Larry M with the Angels, Astros, Tigers, and Dodgers. Mika with the Giants and Marlins. And Yohei with the Braves and Orioles. Bash Bros, what's going on? Take down the screen, pull up the chat room. First time watcher saw 2009 and stopped immediately. Never see these breaks. Well, I'm glad you're here. Thanks for stopping by. All right, folks, give me a second. I'm going to make our fancy, fancy team board, and then we will allow a moment for trades on Pogo number one. As you know, I got to do what I got to do. Okay, here comes our fancy old team board. And then we'll give a give you a second to make sure that I didn't screw it up. Because I'm human, it happens, right? Okay, here comes the team board. And now, if you take a look at the bottom right-hand corner, our clock says 814. We're going to give you until the clock reads 817 to make any trades that you may want to make. And go! Go! 
No kidding. You got the Trout Update Rookie. Jeez, how much does that set you back? I mean, well, I mean, you don't have to tell us if you don't want to, but I'm just always curious what kind of coin people are throwing at that Trout Update Rookie, especially right now. That's uh, that's awesome. That's awesome. Well, of course, people are selling left and right right now, so uh, people are buying still. People are still buying. Quick shout out to those who are watching us from YouTube and Breakers TV and Twitch, Periscope, Facebook, wherever you're at. Don't be afraid to shout out and say hello. And if you are watching us from YouTube, please stop what you're doing and please hit that thumbs up. That really helps us out. Oh, you traded for it. Oh, even better. Okay, what did you have to give up for that in a trade? Again, you don't have to disclose that. I'm just always curious. By the way, for those curious, now that I don't have open cards in the way, tonight's drink in the Crack and Wax tumbler, as provided by... Mama Wax, that's my mom. Mama Wax, that's what we're gonna call her. Mom, if you're watching, we're calling you Mama Wax. Um, tonight we've got, you know it's either gonna be Captain or Vodka, <laughs> but it's Cherry Pepsi Zero and Captain tonight. So you traded Acuna Gold Label Rookie Auto, Tatis Purple Chrome Rookie to 2.99, Soto COA Auto Baseball, Beckett for a Beckett, uh, 8.5 Trout, wow. So yeah, that's what I'm saying. That trout. That's that's one of the most important modern day cards. And probably will be. Of all time. As far as modern day cards go. Anything after the junk wax era. That's going to be it. That's going to be the most important card. I would almost put money on it. All right, it is 8.17. I see no trades in any of our chat rooms. No trades. We're going to roll with the chat room. I'm sorry. We're going to roll with the team board as is. All right, folks. Good luck. Sit back. Relax. Enjoy yourselves. Let's crack that wax. All right, we got a box of 2011 Bowman Platinum. We've got two Chrome autograph cards and one autograph relic card in every box. Look for autograph cards of Bryce Harper. That's the main draw in this one. We've got 20 packs for box, five cards per pack. Now, of course, the danger with older product like this is expired redemptions. As always, I will still distribute the expired redemptions to the appropriate teams. However, just like the last couple of breaks, I will not count them as hits for instant gratification at the end. Here we go. Mr. Freddy Froof on the packs and box. Here we go. Bo Platt. Oh yeah, I remember these. Boy, do I remember these. And I think we got our first hit right away. So we'll just throw that in the back. Let's pull up the team board right away. Latos, Austin Jackson, Billy Butler. We've got a red Adam Jones. And behind that, what I think is our first hit. Oh, it's not even our first hit. Oh, you psyched me out. It's a Chrome card of Jimmy Paredes for the Astros. Oh, you got me. You got me. <laughs> All right. Well, Larry M. got himself a Chrome card nonetheless. There we go. So we got another Chrome card now. Yeah, that must be another Chrome card. All right. So we're just going to treat those backwards cards as Chromes for now. A rolled this Chapman rookie card. So that's a nice land. Uh, Verlander Green, Poltonavich, Chrome Card, Astros, Corey Lubke, Rookie, and a Brad Emus, Emouse. So obviously the Aroldis is the big card out of that pack. And the Chrome Cards are curled, which is not unusual for older Chrome Cards. Chipper. Ryan Zimmerman, Votto, Austin Jackson looks like a gold. Carlos Perez Chrome Refractor. Yeah, that's pretty darn curled up.
Oh, and the ever-elusive checklist in the back. Oh, I wonder who's gonna get that. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I think we got a hit. I think we got a hit. Prince Fielder. Brandon Belt rookie card. And behind Brandon Short. Pull up the team board. I think this is finally a hit. And it is. A bat auto for the Diamondbacks. Juan Miranda. 1091 of 1166. Now that is an interesting card number. I wonder why they numbered it to 1166. That is interesting. D-backs with a hit. Battlehawk. Congratulations, Battlehawk. And by the way, the Brandon Short is an X-Fractor. Let's not forget that. Let's light up the, uh, the team board for Battlehawk. All right, everybody ready? Here it comes. Oh, you can you can hardly stand it. How long it takes for me to light up the team board? <laughs> All right, here we go, Battle Hawk. Congratulations! First hit of the night on the Bowman Platinum Breaks. Congratulations! All right, here we go, moving right along. So that is our auto relic. Kobe, Ugla, Manram, Brandon Beachy, Rookie, Jose Iglesias, Chrome, Refractor, Justin Morneau, Cliff Lee, Checklist, Jason Hayward, Andre Ethier, Christian Colon X Fractor. So remember, tomorrow morning, 11 a.m. Central, three new breaks will load. One of them will be break of the day number one. The other two will be name your price breaks. If break of the day number one fills by 3 p.m., we will drop a second break of the day at 3 p.m. And of course, anything that fills by 6 p.m. Central will break that night. Here's a chrome of Jimmy Paredes, gold, 33.50. For the Astros. For Larry M. Oh. Haha. -ha. I hit the wrong button. Like, why did that look so weird? Strasburg. Miguel Cabrera. Ryan Harward. Josh Hamilton with the Rangers. Sammy Solis. Refractor. Looks like we're about halfway done. Well, I just have a wealth of dummy cards <laughs> after after today. Jeez, Dan Heron, Alvarez, Hernandez, Tory Hunter, Angels, Jerks, and Profar. Refractor. Not bad. Not bad at all. Still looking for two more chrome autos. And I think we might have one. I think we might have one. Pull up the team board just in case. Rollins, Stanton, Wright, and behind Granky, I was correct. Deck McGuire. Nice on card auto. Going to the Blue Jays. Dame Debbie. Deck McGuire. You don't hear that name every day. Kind of reminds me of Buck Farmer. Deck McGuire, Buck Farmer. I wonder if he's related to Reese. All right, lighten up the team board for Dame Debbie. Congratulations, Dame Debbie. You are on the board. And of course, Card Junk comes in. What's going on, Card Junk? It's good to see you. Yeah, the dummy cards are actually a good, 
good medium for that, I would say. Jeremy Hellickson, rookie. Chase Utley, Ding Debbie. There you go. Vernon Wells, Green, Brian McCann, and Jonathan Singleton Chrome for the Phillies. Yeah, but, you know, we could pull Bryce Harper. I never know. I mean, that was the selling point of this whole thing. Uh, Corey Lepke, rookie card. Brad Emaus, rookie card again. Michael Pineda, rookie card, current twin. Clayton Kershaw, uh, a young, clean-shaven Clayton Kershaw. Aaron Chambers, rookie for the Cardinals. Or not rookie, chrome card. Aaron Chambers, chrome card for the Cardinals. Not rookie card. Cole Hamels, Felix Card, Jason Worth, Kutch, Carlos Pena, Matt Harvey, Chrome Card for the Mets. Looking for one more autograph. Descalso, Holiday, Checklist, Pujols, Ortiz, and a Travis Darno. X Fractor for the Blue Jays. Chipper again. Zimmerman, Pedroia, Gonzalez, Abasail, Garcia, Chrome, Tigers. Well, who has the Mets? Uh, let's see. Maybe Yohei will uh, let you have one or trade one of those e mouses to you. Interesting. All right, Joe Maurer, Josh Rodriguez. Our Chrome card is a green Brandon Short, it's 82 of 599. The White Sox. Let me get that in the screen here. Alex Rodriguez and Carlos Pena. Justin Morneau as LQ walks in. Cliff Lee, Clay Buchholz, Alex Rodriguez, and Kyle Russell Chrome. Oh, you've got Abe. How's he doing? Good boy. Oh, good boy. Both our cats are on medicine now, so it's been an adventure. <laughs> they yes. They're expensive. But they're worth it, aren't they? Well, we'll hit Ike Davis. Checklist, Jared Weaver, CC Sabathia, Joe Herman Chavez, X-Fractor for the Mariners. We are on our penultimate pack for Pogo number one. It's not like I've been talking all day. It's not like back when I used to work at my day job and had to talk all day. No, but I mean, like, when you've, you've done that where the first night that you did two breaks, you were like... Isn't that pathetic? Where I did two breaks and lost my voice. Oh, <laughs> I know. <laughs> Kyle Drayback, rookie card. Chrome of Manny Machado with the Orioles. You guys can see what he's wearing right now. It's very amazing. Best shirt ever, though. It is the best shirt ever, and I'm glad I asked for it. And I'm glad my wife is my <laughs> wife and bought it for me. All right, should have our final hit in the final pack here. He's wearing red dress socks with shorts. <laughs> this is true. This is true. All right, here we go. Final pack and final hit for Pogo number one. Let's pull up the team board because I can. Dan Heron, Pedro Alvarez, Jake McGee, rookie card. And behind Evan Longoria, final hit of the first Pogo is autograph of Jawan James for the Phillies. That's a pretty picture. Battlehawk. Getting another autograph tonight. Oh. Congratulations, Battlehawk. Let's light up the team board. I'm not used to seeing. That no, that I, I'm not used to seeing oh, someone else's boy. name next to the Phillies. What is happening here? Debbie. Debbie. Well, I'm sure she's not upset about not getting a Jawan James. But Debbie, yeah. 
Dame Debbie, come on. Dame Debbie could probably probably has five of these anyway, so <laughs> to one. James. On the ground, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, congratulations, Battlehawk. You got the final hit of this break. Now, let's see who gets to play Instant Gratification. Well, now Fidget is here. Hello, Fidget. Are you helping? Not really. No. Oh, good girl. All right. So the Phillies got a hit, and the Blue Jays got a hit for Dame Debbie, and the D backs got a hit. So Battlehawk with two hits, Dame Debbie with one. Battlehawk gets three spots. Blair B gets one. Richie gets one. David and Art gets one. Deb P gets one. Jim K, Larry M, Lockin, Mika, Cracker Max, Rookie TJ, and Yohei all get one. Oh, I, I thought you were losing. I thought that was a good bite kiss. I'm sorry. It was not a good bite kiss. All right, so. <laughs> Rolling the dice. See how many times we're randomizing for instant gratification. Five times. I should have put the third one in here just because you're done. I know you do. I know you do. All right, here comes the screen. Randomizing five times, and the name at the top of the list gets instant gratification on the fifth roll. And good luck, everybody. Instant gratification going to Mika. Mika Mar. Thank you for calling her Mika. I, I appreciate did, that. Yeah. Because that is her name. That is her name. All right, let's spin the wheel for Mika. Good luck, Mika. <laughs> Mika's getting tonight. Hey, rack pack. Oh, I packed those personal doesn't know what she's doing. I do not. But I opened the cards that go into them. That's true. Don't tell them what we opened, though. That's a secret. All I can say is it's really good stuff that I told Chris. Wait, can we keep these? She wanted us to sell them. <laughs> I didn't know how the whole thing worked. and like, I thought they were gifts. <laughs> they are gifts, not... <laughs> me. No. <laughs> <laughs> but they're really good. Yeah. Really good stuff. Yeah. Very good stuff. All right. Well, that is 2011 Bowman Platinum Pogo number one. We're going to take a couple minutes to reset, and we will be back in just a couple minutes with Pogo number two. Hang tight, folks. We'll see you in just a minute.
folks. Welcome back. It is time for the final break of the night. It is 2011 Bowman Platinum Pogo number two, and teams have already been assigned. Let's pull up the team board. If you are in this break, now's your chance to make trades if you'd like to. On the bottom right-hand corner of the video, it says 8.35 p.m. We will give you until that clock reads 8.38 to make trades. You can make trades from wherever you're at, be it YouTube, Periscope, Twitch, or Breakers TV, and go. If you are not in this break and you have nothing better to do and you're in uh, Periscope, we love hearts. Oh, man, thousands of them. If you're watching us from YouTube, whether live or the replay, please take a second. Hit that thumbs up. If you're watching us right now from YouTube, whether live or watching the replay, we would also appreciate a subscribe. Not only uh, does that help us out, but we are also giving away a hobby box, kind of like this one, uh, once we hit 2,000 subscribers. We've got a little ways to go, so every little bit helps. So if you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to the channel, and that'll get us even closer to giving away a hobby box to one of you lucky SOBs. Final break of the night, and of course, remember, tomorrow morning, 11 a.m. Central, crackandwax.com slash shop. We're going to be loading up another round of breaks, similar to what we did today. Uh, I'm, I'm very excited about what we're dropping tomorrow. So we're going to have another break of the day and two Name Your Price breaks dropping at 11 a.m. Central. And at 3 p.m. Central, we'll, we'll drop another break of the day as long as the first one has filled by that time. And then anything that sells by 6 or that fills by 6 p.m. Central will break that night. So just like today. All right, less than a minute left. Bobby wants to know if anyone really want the Rockies. Trying to think of who would be decent on the Rockies back in 2011. Hmm. Just a few seconds left. All right, it is 8.38, and unless anybody really wants the Rockies, we're going to run with the team board as is, and we are going to crack that wax. Team board down. Let's do it. Let's crack that wax. All right. One final box for the night. It is one box of 2011 Bowman Platinum, two Chrome autograph cards, and one autograph relic card in every box. Look for autograph cards of Bryce Harper. Haven't found one yet. And, of course, we always run the risk of finding expired redemptions. We haven't found any yet tonight. Crossing my fingers, we still don't. I will still distribute them and see what Tops might be able to do for you. We won't count any expired redemptions as hits for for our little game tonight. Instant gratification that we do for hitless spots. Any cardless spots, of course, will be entered into the April free box break. Box. All right, good luck, everybody. Let's crack that wax. I just want to thank everybody again so much for supporting us today. We love filling these breaks. We love running these breaks. And we love that you're enjoying it. We have Latos, Austin Jackson, Checklist, Longoria, Vernon Wells, and Caleb Cowart. X Fractor for the Angels. Watch now, I'm going to pull. Like, the hit of the night is going to be some random Rockies hit that you just about traded away. <laughs> Marcakis, McCann, checklist. Yonder Alonso, rookie card. Tulowitzki, Jared Parker, X Fractor for the D backs. So now that we've been doing Break of the Day for a few weeks, what do you folks think? Are you still enjoying the format? Is there anything you'd like us to change about it? Are you getting tired of doing older products? 
I just, you know, the reason we're doing older products now is because I don't know what we can get for newer products for a little while. Now that there's going to be some delays. There's a green matte cane and a chrome of seat, uh, chrome, chrome of Cito Culver for the Yankees. I'm enjoying that I'm able to provide some lower priced affordable options um, a few times a day which is always great. I know I've got some people kind of knocking on my door asking about, you know, when are we going to do the bigger cases? You know, Jose Reyes Green. We'll get there. We'll get there. Brandon Geyer. I mean, we just did a half case fill for Tribute, and I still don't know when the heck that's coming in. And if we, for some reason, end up not getting it in, and I have no reason to believe that we don't, but if we don't, of course... You know, we'll have refunds on the way, but I'm not expecting to have to refund anybody at this point just yet. Joe Herman Chavez for the Mariners. But I'm all about feedback, so if you have any feedback to give me, I'm here for it. You let me know. Jose Reyes, Ramirez, Freddie Freeman, rookie card, Hunter Pence. Jaff Decker Refractor Come on Bryce Harper Carl Crawford Cano Lester Carl Santana Green of D Gordon That's not too bad 490 of 599 for the Dodgers Pretty decent. All right, I'm ready for a hit. <laughs> I'm ready to pull a hit. Let's do this now. Mad Bum, Gordon Beckham, Eduardo Escobar, Esky. What a fun guy. I love this guy. Uh, X Factor for the White Sox. Check it out. I've received 100 messages today with your stream chat. Uh, like the cheaper breaks, all you can usually afford. Well, I think that's how a lot of people are feeling right now. Not everybody, but I'll, I'll, quite a few people are feeling that way. And uh, I'm one of them, so this is exactly why I'm offering what I am. Josh Rodriguez, rookie card in the green of Garrett Richards, 494 $599. All right, still looking for three hits. Calling it. We got one here. Some 98 to 02 era products would be interesting if you could find any. I think the only place I would be able to is Baseball Card Exchange. And as far as I know, they are not shipping right now. So if we get any, it would be a little little while. I know Blowout really doesn't have much in the way of uh, that era. Joe Maurer, rookie of Brent Morrell. Schaefer Hall. So I called it incorrectly. Uh, X-Fractor of Schaefer Hall. But yeah, I'll keep my eye, eye out for that stuff. Are all the hits like just buried at the bottom of the box? What the hell? Come on. Jeremy Hellickson rookie card. Chase Utley. Michael Pineda rookie. There's a red Roy Oswald. And a Michael Ozuna for Frank. Come on, hits. Let's pull three Bryce Harper autographs. Let's beat the odds. Let's do it. Come on. Here we go. Starlin Castro. Jeremy Jeffress, rookie. Roy Halliday. Shinsu Chu. Jake Marisnik, refractor. Blue Jays. Oh, come on. Hank Conger, rookie. Lincecum, Sanchez, Victor Martinez, Jacob Gobert, refractor, Astros. Well, seriously, what the hell is going on with this box? Ubaldo Jimenez, remember that guy? He used to be a big deal. 
Derek Jeter, that guy used to be a big deal too. Jose Bautista, that's another guy that used to be a big deal. Matt Latos, eh, maybe not so much. Uh, Cody Scarpetta, definitely not. Brewers, Refractor. Decent pack otherwise. All right, this is going to be it. We gotta, we, we're going to have a hit in here. I, I can just feel it. We're going to have a hit in here. Oh, and we are. Oh, my gosh. We actually are. There is, in fact, a hit in here. Finally. Team board coming up just so we can keep track of this. Here we go. First hit of this break. Can you believe it? Cole Hamels, Jason Worth, Checklist, Clayton Kershaw, Dustin Pedroia. And behind Dickie Joe Thon. We'll show that off later. Our first hit is Bat Relic Auto of Yomacio Navarro. For the Red Sox. There is a bit of a dimple in the chrome there. That is number 46 and 199. Red Sox. Dead P. Congratulations, Dead P, getting the first hit out of Pogo number two. Let's light up the team board for Miss Deb P. Congratulations, dear. Who took part in tonight's free box break as well. Got herself a Reese Hoskins autograph and a Tony Gwynn quad bat and jersey relic. Congrats, Deb P. And by the way, there's the Dickie Joe Thon X Fractor. Back around 2006, picked up a couple of cheap boxes of 01 decade. Huh. You'll have to remind me of that if I can find some. Or if you happen to find some somewhere, let me know. And uh, we'll see. We'll see. It's also Holiday, Buckholtz, Jared Weaver, Jacob Turner, Tigers, Chrome Card, Refractor. Looking for two on card autographs, I hope. Rod, Pena, Gonzalez, and another Gonzalez. Yasmani Grandal, Refractor, the Reds. Brian Braun, Buster Posey, Checklist, Johan Santana for the Mets, Adam Dunn, Leon Landry. X-Fractor for the Dodgers. All right, we are in our penultimate pack. We are expecting two hits, so let's just pull the team board because we better have a hit in each pack now. And one of them better be Bryce Harper. That's what I'm saying. Josh Hamilton, Hunter Pence, CeCe Sabathia. Behind Jake McGee, we do, in fact, have an autograph, and it is... Garrett Richards for the Angels, 132 of 399. Angels, Larry M. Congratulations, Larry. Getting the penultimate pack mojo. And lighten up the team board for Larry M. And there you go, Larry M. Congratulations. Final pack. Should be a hit. Then we will do instant gratification, and then we will call it a night. I kind of wish we had more to break. But that's just me. Chris Sale rookie card for the White Sox. That is not bad. Dead P scoring a nice rookie card. There you go. Kendris Morales, Justin Upton, Mark Trumbo. And behind Mark Trumbo's rookie card, our final card, final hit, here we go, is Hector Noesi for the Yankees going to Deb P. Deb P with two hits tonight. Congrats, Deb P. Let's light up the team board.
There we go. All right. Well, congratulations. And now it's time to play a little bit of instant gratification. Now let's see who gets to play. So Yankees got a hit. Angels got a hit. And Red Sox got a hit. Well, that don't that big. <laughs> Which means Battle Hawk gets one, two spots. Bobby P gets a spot. Dame Debbie gets a spot. David gets a spot. Dead P gets one, two, three, four, four spots. Uh, Larry M does not get a spot. Yes, he gets one spot. Uh, Mika gets a spot, and Yohei gets a spot. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That is correct. So we got twelve spots going. Look at that, Matt. I did math. Can you believe it? <laughs> All right. Team board coming down. Let's see how many times we're going to randomize for instant gratification. Cracking Deb Peak. Well, hey, you know what? She deserves it, Bobby. I don't know if you know this, but uh, Debbie, she was the recipient of a, uh, a mystery rack package. So not a rack pack like this. Although there was one in there, but a big box. Um, and we did that for her because for three years running, she's d donated a full case of Allen & Ginter to us each year for three years uh, to go with our Allen & Ginter charity case break event. So we, we do a charity event every year around Allen & Ginter. And... Let me tell you, cases of cards are not cheap. So for her to lay down thousands of dollars for us like that, all in the name of helping us raise money for charity is ridiculous. So maybe we should change the name of the channel to Crack and Deb P. She deserves it. So we, we love Deb P around here. We also love Dame Debbie. All of our Debs we love. All right, we're going to randomize 12 times. Yahtzee. Nice. That back in there because that's the last time we're going to use that. Let's turn on the screen and randomize 12 times. And of course, name at the top of the list on the 12th randomization wins instant gratification. There's 11, and next roll. Good luck, Dame Debbie. Getting two instant gratifications tonight. Congratulations, Debbie. All right, let's spin the wheel for Debbie. All right, good luck. Here we go. Dame Debbie getting herself a rack pack. All right, congratulations, Debbie. All right, well, that does it for us tonight. That was a very fun, very successful night of breaking. And uh, we're going to do it all over again tomorrow. So remember, cracklemax.com slash shop at 11 a.m. Central. Three new breaks will be dropping. I'm not telling you what it is. One of them uh, will be a break of the day. The other two will be name your price breaks. If the break of the day sells out... Before 3 p.m., I'm going to drop another break of the day at 3 p.m. Central. Any break that fills by 6 p.m. Central, we will break tomorrow night. All right? Well, thank you so much, folks, for hanging out with us tonight. That was a lot of fun. Let's do it all over again tomorrow. We'll see you all again tomorrow. And if you haven't done so already, um, please make sure you hit that thumbs up. Please hit that subscribe button. If you're watching the replay, there's a little I button at the top of the video right up there. If you want to click on that. Rate this break. Let us know what you thought of it. That kind of helps us kind of plan out breaks in the future, believe it or not. If you if you didn't like these products, that kind of lets us know. And uh, I'm going to start sorting, and we're going to have a little bit of a late dinner. I know it's almost 9 o'clock here, but, you know, now that I don't work at 4.30 in the morning, uh, I can stay up later at night. So, yeah, how about that? All right, folks, well, thanks again for hanging back tonight. We will see you all again tomorrow morning, 11 o'clock central at crackamax.com. And until then, as always... Keep cracking that wax. Have a good night, everybody.